So a lot of companies just struggle with e-commerce. Uh, you're seeing more and more, like especially on the retailer side, literally companies going out of business like Toys R Us or Sears and um, you know their in-store presence is no longer enough to keep them um, competitive and, and they're not successful with e-commerce so the business eventually dies. Um, so some of the things that I think uh, kill an e-commerce um, uh, division of a company or just that aspect of the business is one just no leadership or executive buy-in you know if you're like hey you know this low-level person go run our e-commerce like it's, it's not fair to expect that to succeed e-commerce is very competitive it requires executive buy-in executive leadership um, someone at the highest levels of your company needs to be you know the champion for e-commerce and they don't necessarily have to be like day-to-day -day involved in everything but they at least need to be know what's going on uh, helping fund the project, helping with the difficult problems as they come up. Um, and then um, that kind of leads to the next thing, which may be an executive or maybe like an e-commerce manager. You need to have that kind of internal day-to-day -day champion. Um, I, I call it the e-commerce manager. Without someone dedicated fully to e-commerce, I just don't think you can be successful. So you really have to have someone that's an e-commerce manager, could be vice president of e-commerce, whatever that title is, um, focus on e-commerce and executing on the day-to-day. The other thing is just like a lack of culture around e-commerce. So if e-commerce is kind of like this, oh, it's a separate thing that no one really cares about. Um, it, it, you create this culture in the company where e-commerce doesn't matter. People don't focus on it. People don't believe in it. Um, it, it just, it never gets the right attention. And then people don't want to work for you that <clears throat> are good at e-commerce. If, you know, if I was to you know, quit Trellis, I would never want to work at a company that obviously didn't take e-commerce seriously. You can kind of see that in the culture. Um, so you can kind of, create this, uh, this bad culture around it not being important to the, to the company. Um, the other thing that we see is just bad infrastructure. Um, they might have a legacy infrastructure, a legacy platform that's just not competitive. Um, so they, 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 the company may really need to just kind of like revamp the entire um, platform itself. Um, and that kind of ties into the other thing, which is roadmap. So is your infrastructure gonna take you for a year, five years, 10 years? What's your roadmap? And it kind of goes hand in hand with the infrastructure. Um, we help a lot of companies with that. Um, and I think you have to have a roadmap. People just kind of go by day by day and they don't really have like a, a roadmap or a vision for e-commerce. E-commerce is moving extremely fast. We don't have a roadmap. You're gonna just get destroyed by the competition. So.